All right, so what's your plan? I'm just gonna cut right to it. Just gonna jump right in. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, I already know what she's gonna tell me. Well, you don't, really. <sighs> Come on. Look at this conversation. Where are you meeting her? The bar. His old work? Yep. Oh, where you guys met. Yeah. That has a kind of symmetry to it. I like it. Well, well I don't. It's like she thinks that alone will put a ribbon on it. You know, give closure. Fuck closure. Man, look at these texts. We should meet. Where? The bar. When? 4.30 works for me. You? Sure. Jesus. She's gonna dump me. Either that or show up with a briefcase full of cash and ask you about the stuff. I would honestly rather this was a drug deal gone bad at this point. Can't there just be a Facebook thing where you block someone and it makes them forget you completely? Like that spell in Harry Potter! Or that, uh... Men in Black, the, the flashy thing. You know full well it's called Neuralizer. You could fake your own death? Nah, that's too hard. Yeah. Plus, you faked enough things for his sake. Three, you right? You could actually die. Yeah, can't dump a dead man. Nope. Nah, cause see, then she wins, you know? Mm. Better to just keep on living out of spite. How do you think he'll take it? I have no idea. What do you think she'll say? I have no idea. I'll get the cliches out of the way first. Maybe that'll soften it. It's not you, it's me. Time heals all wounds. <gasps> you look back on this and laugh. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Everything happens for a reason. I still want to be friends. Whoa, no I don't. Really? No way, girl. Clean break. Maybe I should just cancel and message him instead. It might be easier. Oh, no, you don't. Why not? What if he makes a scene? You owe it to him. Shut up. Hey, don't shoot the MSN messenger here. That's awful. You gotta do this right, okay? Face to Facebook. Please stop. One more? You can't just Snapchat your fingers and make the relationship disappear. Can I go break up with my boyfriend now? Yes. I won't make a scene. Right. I'll go out with dignity. Yeah like a chopper pilot who went back behind enemy lines despite orders from the brass and saved his squad. Yeah, sure. And, and then went back uh, a second time to save all the kids in the orphanage. Hmm. And, and, and went back a third time to save the dogs who were about to be put down from the local animal shelter. I don't know what happened. It's like, I knew what I wanted to say and how I wanted to be, you know? Like I had all these points and it was gonna be cool. And fuck, man, it's like I just got suddenly stupid or something. Happens to the best of us. I guess. It's just, you know, I had no business dating her, right? She has a job, career actually. She's smart. She's funny, she's gorgeous. Hell, I think my parents liked her better than me by the end of it. <sighs> Didn't go at all like I expected it to. I went in there with a plan and everything, but as soon as I saw him and we started talking, it just, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it wasn't as good as I hoped. Well, it's never gonna be ideal. Yeah, I know it's never gonna be ideal. Hoped I'd feel some catharsis or something. Instead, I just feel like shit. What if me feeling like this means that I made the wrong move? What if I made a mistake? It's not a chess game, man. Just, you know, go with your gut. Hope for the best. That's all you can do. What if my gut's full of shit? Look, clearly you're bummed out right now. Who wouldn't be? But it's gonna be better for both of you in the long run. How do you know that? What if I was wrong? Breakups are always a good thing. What? I mean, 
Not when they're forced to happen by other people or like when people get tricked into breaking up like in Shakespeare or whatever. But in this situation, I think it's definitely a good thing. If you say so. I know so. Look, right now you can't see him. But there were some fundamental miscues in your relationship. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Here, just take a minute and try something. Name one thing you didn't like about him. It could be anything. Seriously? Just do it, come on. I mean, it could be a bit of a pain to get him to try new things. I guess our taste in music didn't overlap much. That always got me. Not bad, what else? He was a bit of a hipster when it came to shows and stuff. Like what, you're too cool to watch Friends? Fuck off. We didn't laugh at the same moments when we watched movies together. No remedy for that shit. He would eat canned tuna for breakfast. She would put kale on fucking everything. Breakfast. Friends were dicks. His friends were weird. Her parents were dicks. Wardrobe? <sighs> that stupid tattoo she had. Back me. She took her sweet ass time over texting me back. Constant texting. Still friends with her exes. Still liking his ex's posts. She flirted with other guys. He would check out other girls. I just feel like she never really had my back, you know? We just weren't on the same page. All right. I mean, in the end, her breaking up with me is a lot braver than anything I've ever done. I never had to dump anybody. I never had to take charge and decide the future of a relationship. It's kind of nice being the dumpy. Because what can you do? She made the call, it was out of my hands. You know, looking back, Deep down, I knew she wasn't really in it anymore. Not like she was in the first few months. Kind of glad she ended it like she did. Better than her putting on some show to spare my feelings. Some bullshit. I think I like her more for that. You made all the right moves, man. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. Maybe I'm not supposed to be with anyone. I don't mean like there's no one out there for me. It's just... I don't think I can give enough to a relationship to make it work, you know? Looking back, it's like I had one foot in it with him and one foot out, if that makes sense. He did all the right things when it really counted, but a lot of the time, it's like I didn't even know how to respond. I didn't set out to hurt him by not giving back, but if I had, it would have been fake, you know? I don't know. We had good moments, but a lot of the time I felt like there was this barrier between us, and, and I could see him through it, trying to get through and give me all this warmth, but it's, everything would just get muffled, and I, I don't know, I'm tired. Oh babe, you're too hard on yourself. It's not on either of you. I know, thanks. I really appreciate you being oh, here. You do, you boo boo. That's weird. What is it? It's him. Found the cell phone on the bus. Please return it to its owner. My name is blah, blah, blah. Do you think I should message him on Facebook and let him know? No, that's awkward. Plus, like, what if it's him trying to be sly? Yeah, never mind. It'll sort itself out. Have you talked to her at all since? Nah. I mean, I might have, but... I lost my phone on the bus ride back. 
Which bus? 86, Sir Scarborough. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. It's like nothing on it, though, so whatever. I mean, what are they gonna do with a 30 gig collection of midget porn? It's almost all the space. I know. I think it wouldn't take up as much since it's smaller than regular porn. Ha, ha, ha.